Mmm, good this weed is. Hi, it makes me. Mmm. Hi, all. It's Norn, and I'm back with a quick one. Well, not a kind of quick one, but a, like an amazing one. And here's the builds as requested. People wanted to see cards and everything. Here's the full build. I got Devil Bringer to 100, up to his sword to 100. Right? He's really strong for national. I'm number one and then for global i think i'm number two or three devil bringer but uh yeah i was trying to break 400 million earlier i did that but then i was like i got like 409 million so i was like i could probably do 420 million right but no i went and i got a ridiculous one you're gonna love it as you can see i got fairly decent cards on devil bringer here i just switched out this number one though it had burn gauge on it i gave up i think i don't even know a little bit crit rate i think but i already had that as a card so it was it was a worthwhile trade so yeah like i said he's awakened a little bit i don't even know how many copies anymore but 115 percent there so there's that and then i We'll show you Peerless Legend. <clears throat> and excuse me, I think I have a cold. I've been had one for like the last week. I've been coughing and all that crap. But yeah, he's built up pretty good too now, right? SSS is good level for him. I obviously want to EX him though. Because he's boosted, like his buff is huge. It's not just Devil Bringer, right? It's this buff from uh, Peerless Legend here too. And then Blazing Tempest, he's great too. The fire penetration, how quick I could do rotations. Um... The increase to fire damage is him being on the team, right? For or increase the damage period, just being on a team. I tried switching over to Fist of Salvation. I could still do really good. I actually broke 400 million still with friggin' uh, Fist of Salvation on the team, but I can just get cooking a lot quicker. And I think I did something different too. Maybe I had extra buff with Peerless Legend because I was talking to Kelch and a couple other people told me there's something with. Peerless Legend, when you get him like 50 hits, you do something and shoot the ball. I have no idea. I don't know if I actually did that, but this was the best run I've ever done. And as you're going to see, I got the combo B timing down now. Like I said, I think I could do it like way better than I could before now. So whatever they tried to do to screw us over, it did not work. It actually helped. At least it helped me. But anyway, we'll get through this last little build thing. This was requested, right? So if you want to see like Blazing Tempest isn't built up that much. At SS, you get a good buff for him, right? For uh, Peerless Legend, it had to be SS Plus for him to actually be a benefit on my team, right? Actually start cooking stuff for me. And then when I got him to SSS, that was great. So, like I said, I'll try to get him the EX next time he comes around. We'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, here we go. I'm just showing the buffs I can get on these weapons here. I'm going to try eventually. Yeah, these three tunes are amazingly worth it right the build up like i've seen even the blazing tempests are just doing amazing damage and raid and stuff and so quick too right like super fast like he's a great tune it might be squishy but not if you know how to use him you don't you don't have to worry about getting hit and if you can dodge he's really fast but anyway anyway the moment we've been waiting for the grand grumble rumble Let's see. I see. Look at that. This is the highest boss hunt score I've ever got. Obviously, it's from leveling up all the tunes and everything too, right? But then, yeah, I don't know. I got my routine down. As you can see there, it's 409 right now. I was going to put up that video, but I was like really trying to hit 420 just because I really like that number for some reason. Hi, the weed makes me. Anyway, enjoy the fight you win. Next time see you, I will. Gaming all good. Next time until... <laughs>